Hi, and welcome to 5-Minute Film School. In this film, you'll learn how to make an entire movie on your phone or on your mobile device. Just like in a library, where there are two kinds of books, fiction and nonfiction, in filmmaking there are two kinds of movies, narratives and documentary. We're going to talk about the process of filmmaking, and it's going to be very similar whether it's a narrative or whether it's a documentary. Making a film project is not unlike making any art project. You prepare a project, you make the project, and then you make the project better. In filmmaking, you'll plan the film, and then you'll shoot the film, and then you'll edit the film to make it better. In Hollywood, they call that pre-production, production, and post-production. Let's talk about the first step of filmmaking, which is planning. The first step of planning is brainstorming. The second step is usually script writing. And the third step is usually storyboarding. Now, the process is going to change a little bit depending on how ambitious the project is or how advanced your team is. If I'm working with a team of young children, I might skip the screenwriting process altogether. Or if I'm in a hurry, I may skip screenwriting and storyboarding and just brainstorm. Now let's talk about brainstorming, which is one of the hardest steps in the filmmaking process. The first rule of brainstorming is to always be positive. There is no such thing as a bad idea. Now we all know that's not true. There are bad ideas, but of course you can't tell that to a team member. So you write down every idea that is presented by the team and try to divert attention away from the ideas that may not be so good. The next tip for brainstorming is place. If you're making a narrative film and can't think of an idea, think about where you are. If you're in a library, make a film that takes place in a library. You already have the set built and you already have all your props at your disposal. The next tip for brainstorming is parody. It's very challenging to create a new idea from scratch, so why not build off an idea that already exists? And the last step for brainstorming is perseverance. There are whole books written about brainstorming, but honestly the most important thing I think is perseverance. You just keep throwing idea after idea after idea on the whiteboard and eventually you'll come up with a good one. The next step of the planning process is script writing. In Hollywood there's a very official format for screenwriting, but for amateurs here's a very simple way to screenwrite. First you write the person who is speaking with a colon after it. In this case, Engelbert is speaking. After that, in parentheses, write down any director's notes. In this case, Engelbert is entering. And finally, write what the character is saying. In this case, Engelbert is saying, please release me. As you are screenwriting, especially for a narrative film, you should think about plot structure. And the most important thing about plot structure is your film must have a beginning, a middle, and an end. In practical terms, here's what that can mean. The first shot of most movies you've ever seen is an establishing shot, or a shot that tells the audience where you are, like this. So here we are in front of a house. In the middle of the film, be sure that you have a problem, and then solve the problem. And finally, put a bow on your movie by saying something clever or summarizing. The final step of planning your movie is storyboarding. There are many fancy ways to storyboard, but here's a very simple way. You take a piece of paper and split it into boxes. On the bottom half of the box, you draw what the audience sees. In this case, they see the character of Engelbert. Remember, use stick figures and don't get too fancy with the artwork. On the top half of the frame, you write out what the audience hears. In this case, the audience hears Engelbert saying, please release me. And finally, to communicate director's notes, you can do things like add motion lines. The second step in the filmmaking process is shooting it. First of all, don't be that guy, the guy who stands there and films vertically. Now this guy is at least filming the right way, but he never moves the camera from waist height, and the camera is shaking a lot. So hold the camera close to your body and lock your elbows. Or even better, put it on something solid like a table. Also, try to do something interesting with the camera, and instead of holding the camera at waist height all the time, put it at an interesting angle and move with it. So if you're filming baby's first steps, hold the camera close to the ground and follow the subject. As you're filming with a camera or mobile device, you're going to find out that sound is one of the hardest parts of filmmaking. So always stand as close to the subject as possible. Also, keep shots as short as possible. If you're keeping the camera rolling for more than 10 or 15 seconds, you may be losing the audience. Now let's talk about the last step of the filmmaking process, which is editing. The most important edit that you can make is deleting footage that is unimportant. To delete the unimportant footage so the movie moves at a snappy pace, you're going to learn some basic editing software. I'll include some links to some tutorials for your phone or mobile device. Congratulations! You just graduated from 5-Minute Film School. Now let's talk about what your first project is going to be. If you don't have any ideas for your first project, one of the easiest films you can make is a documentary about an important event that you go to. So the next time you go to an important event like a wedding or a baby shower, take your camera out 
And every time something interesting happens, like, say, the first kiss or the first dance at a wedding, run the camera for about 30 seconds, and then turn the camera off and enjoy the event. At the end of the evening, you'll have about 20 shots. It didn't take any planning time. And all you have to do is edit and tighten the film up a little bit, and you've got yourself a great film that your friend will probably cherish for a long time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And remember, we're all filmmakers.